Hi, my name's Steve Alzoni of ASR&D, creators of the revolutionary Arc Helmet technology, winners of the NFL Head Health Tech Challenge, and most recently, the innovators behind the brand new X7 soft shell headgear for flag, seven on seven, and non-helmeted practices. The virtual simulation that you're about to see today is the first of its kind anywhere. If you are a coach, a football athlete, a parent, a league owner, an official, or governing body, I hope you'll agree that the technology we're gonna share with you is invaluable to the future of the game in understanding, improving, taking responsibility, and being intelligent about player safety at all levels. The virtual simulation that you're about to see involves Corvid's Cave Map, a full digital neck, body, head, and brain, including skin, tissue, muscles, and bone, all faithfully reproduced accurately to react in digital environment whenever subjected to outside forces and impacts. Until now, the caveman has been used to enhance safety for the military. However, today, caveman is a football athlete. The brain you're about to see reacting to the impacts is an actual brain of a current NCAA Division I athlete. Again, this is a first. In collaboration with COVID, we have recreated the exact testing protocol that Virginia Tech uses to rate flag football soft shell headgear. The Virginia Tech testing comprises of three impact zones, front, sides, and rear. During our testing process, all three impact zones were hit at a speed of four meters per second. The three zones combined with the four meters per second speed have been deemed appropriate testing for what may realistically happen to athletes during a flag football game or similar, a seven on seven game, or possibly during a non-helmeted practice. To accurately recreate the Virginia Tech testing for the virtual world, we also needed a digital version of a soft shell headgear. So, naturally, we chose our own soft shell, the Arc X7. The scientists at COVID use meshing and finite element software to accurately create a digital X7 soft shell for caveman to wear during the testing process. So, here we go. Before we play the test, let's be clear on what we're looking at right now. On the left, we see two bare heads without protective X7 headgear. On the right, we see two heads wearing the X7 headgear. This is so we can get a direct comparison. As we look at the heads exposing the brain, if we work our way in from the outer skin of the head, we can see tissue, then the gray bone of the skull, and finally the brain. We can also see the top of the spine and the neck tissue. On each side, we can clearly see what's happening inside of the athlete's head. We are using four million data points to track exactly what is happening to the brain of the athlete in terms of brain displacement resulting in brain strain. As we play the side impact at the four meters per second speed, we see the results of the impacts on the bare heads with no headgear. There is major brain displacement and strain. Notice that even though the impact is coming from the right side and we see some red, we also see a lot of red on the left side of the brain. This is because of the rotational effects of the impact, transferring the impact load to different areas of the brain. In contrast, the heads wearing the X7 soft shell headgear react to the test very differently. We don't see any red. In fact, we don't even see any green or yellow. The result in this case is a 78% reduction in brain strain because of the X7. The impacts that we've shown you today don't only derive from head-to-head -head collisions. The brain strain that you've seen in our simulation can easily be the result of a simple fall, move to the ground, or an incidental contact from a body part other than the head, maybe a foot or elbow in the moment of competition. Due to our individual makeup as human beings, it's a fact that we all physically react differently to the exact same impacts. An impact that causes concussion in one person may not seemingly affect the next. However, it's also a fact that when an athlete wears the X7 soft shell headgear, regardless of how well or how badly an athlete uniquely reacts, all impacts to the head will be reduced by approximately 30 to 78% depending on the site of the impact, and that is huge for player safety. In considering the risks of not wearing headgear, there's no argument. Wearing the X7 soft shell headgear and playing safely and intelligently speaks for itself. Play safe, play smart. 